Hello and welcome back to my channel. I couldn't post any videos for a couple of weeks. I'm very sorry. I had a lot of work and so couldn't get around making a video. But today I want to make up for that. For the ones who follow my channel, you know that I like to experiment with different bits and the shaper origin. It's kind of like I always look around the internet, see if there's any bit that can give me a new option, something interesting to do with it. Shaper. And so browsing Amazon, I suddenly found a bit that looked really weird. And let me show that to you. It's this bit here from Festool, and it's called um, a script bit. Let me show that to you here. It has the weirdest shape ever. If you look at that, it has an angle, but it has some flat sides. And I was like, what is this? And so according to the description, um, it's to engrave writings. So something written into, into the wood. So that sounded interesting. So if you have followed my videos, you might know that I recommend using this um, conic bit here that is like that. And so there is a video showing uh, the advantages of this bit compared to the one that you get with your shaper. I love that bit. And so whenever I engrave a name in my table or anything like that, I always use this one. So I was like, should I really buy that? Will it really be good? Um, also, it's pretty expensive. It's around between 40 and 50 bucks, depending where you buy it. So I was like, Ugh. okay. But it looked so intriguing to me with that weird shape here. And I was like, maybe it's really cool. So um, I just bought it to try it out for you guys. So this is a video of me checking if that script bit from Festool is any good and if it's worth the up price compared uh, to the other one I use. Um, so I'll do a little experiment again, the same as I did with the other bit when I compared it to the one you get with the shaper. I'm not going to compare this one with the one you get from the shaper, uh, because there is this other video showing that this one here is much better than the one that you get with the shaper. So the question is, is this expensive bit from Festool better than the cheaper one here I showed in the other video? Let's give it a try. In this experiment, I engrave the same name. On the left-hand side, I use my traditional engraving bit, and on the right-hand side, I'm using the new script bit from Festool. Let's start with 0.5 millimeters. On the left-hand side, you see the tapered angle bits that I normally use, and on the right-hand side, the script bit. And what you can see here is that the script bit with that 0.5 millimeter cut depth is actually much nicer looking than the one I normally use. It's kind of sharper. To make it easier for you to see, I just fill in some sawdust and you see that the lines are much clearer with the script bit. Astonishing and a good result uh, for such uh, small font. As a reference, each name here is about 10 centimeters wide and 3 centimeters high, so it's pretty small. And here you see the same without the sawdust really looks nice on the right hand side, doesn't it? With one millimeter cut depth, the right hand one with a script bit still looks better than the one with a tapered angle bit, I think. And here the same without the sawdust. Continuing with 1.5 millimeters, you see that the font engraving starts to resemble. So there is only a little difference between the tapered angle and the script bit at this cut depth. At 2 mm cut depth, you see that the script bit starts to look ugly. So this is the depth where the script bit doesn't work anymore because the angle is too wide and the font starts to look really clunky and fat. While with a tapered angle bit, you still have a nice and sharp looking font. That is why I stopped this experiment at 2 millimeters, because here clearly the tapered angle bit starts to outperform the script bit. 
Okay, here we are again, and my conclusion is this bit is not bad, I do like it, and there is some new option it opens. If you want to engrave something written really fine, really small, and not deep, then you will get a much nicer look using the script bit from Festool. Um, if you need to go deeper, then it doesn't work. So up to a depth of 1.5 millimeters, this one is really nice. After that, if you need to go two millimeters or deeper, then it's not nice looking and you need to use this one here. So does it mean you need to buy this one? I'm not sure. I leave that um, decision obviously up to you. If it's worth the price, it's also a matter of budget. Um, I do think you can still, you can engrave also at uh, 0.5 millimeters or one millimeter really nice with this one. But it gets a little blurrier with this one compared to the one from Festool. And so depending what your need is, depending how often you engrave and like depending what kind of quality you need, also depending how small uh, the, the engraving is, um, you might want to evaluate buying this one. I do like it. I will use it more, uh, that's for sure, uh, especially when engraving table names and these kind of things. Um, I think I'll go for this one, uh, but I will still keep using this when I need to go deeper. And there's quite a, a few of applications where I do go deeper than 1.5 millimeters where I will use the other one. So if you have the budget, I would recommend you to have both in your set so you have a wide variety of options when you're trying to engrave with your shaper. That's it. If you're interested in any of these bits, I'll leave the links in the description as always. If you like this video, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and see you around.